Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toaster Bros, and today we're going to be putting together one of the most ultimate Dell Optiplexes for only 400 bucks. Yeah, all you do is spend $400, buy a Dell Optiplex like this one, buy a graphics card like this one, put it all together, and you have some awesome high-end gaming that might actually be better than some of y'all's gaming PCs out there. But before we put this thing together, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for some awesome tech while on a budget, then you should take a look at today's video sponsor, AliExpress, where you can get a lot of cool and awesome tech for $10 or less with free fast shipping. All you have to do is install the AliExpress mobile app and browse their free shipping section to cash in on some cool tech that you can use to upgrade your gaming setup. We picked up four awesome products for less than $50 from AliExpress. For example, these wireless Lenovo earbuds for only $12 with free shipping that offer some solid sound quality for the price. And you can even get a gaming mouse, a game controller, or game pad to take your gaming setup to the next level on the cheap. Once again, to cash in on this free shipping on orders over $10 in value, you need to download the AliExpress app today by checking the link down below. Let me know what kind of cool tech products you find during this discount. I think you'll be able to find some really awesome things to upgrade your gaming setup. Big thanks again to AliExpress for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? So here we have an Optiplex 7040 that we got from eBay and a little bit of a flashback. We actually tried to do this in a 7050 small form factor, but our graphic card, which is an A2000, did not fit. We needed a single lane card, so we actually did a whole separate video for that if you want to see a slightly cheaper Optiplex eye in the top right corner, which is in one of these corners here. I have a 50-50 chance. But this Optiplex was a little bit more expensive because it's full size, which means we have more upgrade path, but also we know for a fact our A2000 is going to fit, and this is a really good card because it is pretty much like an RTX 3050. Now one thing to mention with this card is the price is kind of all over the place. There was a very small window where this card was readily available for about $250. Sometimes Sometimes they go for like 260, 270, give or take. At some point, you're gonna be building an Optiplex that you could use the same amount of money to build a full gaming PC. So just put that out there. If you have an Optiplex already that's just sitting around and you wanna plop one of these in there, then that's an absolutely great idea. But if you're going to build this from scratch, you might wanna consider the new PC build option as well. But regardless, we're still gonna test it, see what this thing can do. Let's open this Optiplex up, see what we got, and decide what kind of upgrades we need to do. All right, so here is our Optiplex 7040. Background story, this wasn't even supposed to be this build. We just got one that was too small and we didn't really think about it. It was too close to the power supply, so it just wouldn't work. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up, see what we get. One thing that's really cool, and this is a perk of eBay, is the seller just took a really long time to ship this PC out. They felt bad, so they actually upgraded this from eight gigs to 16 gigs of RAM for free. So that's something that happens a lot in eBay. You'd be surprised. So it looks like, yeah, that's actually pretty modern. Look at that, just Ooh. slides right out. We don't have to open or unscrew anything. So it looks like we got a 500 gig laptop drive? Question mark? That's really? kind of interesting. It's an interesting choice. Might Sellers be a little slower, yeah. Yeah, they must've just had it lying around, but we are gonna be um, adding a 240 gig SSD, which we really didn't budget for it to have any storage for me us. We also didn't budget for it to have a graphics card, which it does. So we're gonna just pretend the 240 gig kind of balances out. I mean, you really could make a whole nother system if you just get this and this out, and then you could put it in another Optiplex and then sell that. You could actually make some decent money. I mean, look at us at PC Res. It's pretty much what we do. So let's go ahead and open this. Let's see what card we have in here, because I'm kind of curious. So we have an AMD Radeon card that is probably, I can pretty much tell by looking that this is like a R5 240 or an HD 8450, just like a one or two gig card. It's not really anything great, just a display adapter, but it will play your basic Roblox and Minecraft games. Our 16 gigs, dual channel, SK Hynix, two eight gig sticks. That's pretty freaking awesome that look we got that upgraded. Look dust in that fan. <laughs> look at it, so, oh, oh, it it's fell off. Yeah, we're probably gonna give this thing a little bit of a dusting real quick. We're definitely gonna take off our cooler, replace the thermal paste, because these things are never replaced, but maybe the seller did it. Sometimes they do, but very rarely. What kind of power supply do we have? Ooh, an 80 plus platinum. Mm. Wow, Dell was going crazy, 240 watts. So that's way more than enough wattage. This card right here doesn't use external power, meaning it's 75 watts max. But yeah, this is our card. This is the only kind of weird thing is it's, uh, what is this, mini display port? Yes. Mini display port. It does come with adapters usually. Um, so you do have four display out options, but yeah, you're not gonna plug straight in. You're gonna have to adapt them, but it doesn't change the quality or anything. So yeah, let's go ahead and clean this thing off a little bit and then just make sure that we actually got an eye set. He's, he's doing this live. We're multitasking. Riz, <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh my God, that dust is stinky. <laughs> is a stink? <laughs> oh weird... no. What? It's a 6700. Oh. My man lied to us. Did it say 7700 in the thing? Yeah. Did it really? Well, that's probably why he did the RAM. You probably felt really bad. So yeah, Dell Duplex 750 MT here for, for your all's. Uh... Wait, 750? But it's a 750. 
40? I think he just sent us the wrong tower. Cause look, Maybe. 70, 40, or he just completely lied about everything. Yeah, cause this 70, 50, some 70, 40. Yeah, no, the seller just basically said, uh, seller just said, uh, the computer has been shipped. I upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs instead and upgrade the hard drive to one terabyte. No additional charge. That's all they said. Um, I mean, I'm gonna call that a balanced out. I mean, yeah, yeah we were supposed to get 500. We we're only supposed to get eight gigs. So basically we just got a 6700, which by the way, is still DDR4, like we still, I'll just verify, but yeah, 2400 megahertz. So we still have DDR4 RAM. It wouldn't have changed if it went to seven gen. So I'm still happy with it. I mean, we yeah. get to put this into another system now. Yeah, you at home and, theoretically uh, could get a little bit more performance if you actually get a seven gen one. But for our sake, I mean, it's not that big of a difference. You could also get some money back if you wanted to yes. as well. I feel like the seller did a good job kind of compensating, but if you at home, you could say like, hey, this is a 7040 and it didn't have seven gens. So do you think we could do like a partial refund, like 20 bucks, you know what I mean? And then at that point you got free upgrade and some money back, but we're nice people. So we're not gonna do that. Let's go ahead and get some new Arctic thermal paste on here, just so that this thing has the absolute best case scenario for it. We have six i sevens, four core, eight thread. It's uh, pretty similar to something like the i3-10100, but if you ever have the chance to like build a new system, the i3-10100 is going to have longer support. It is a little bit faster, especially at single core performance. So yeah, if you get the choice, definitely go tension i3, but obviously you don't really get a choice of something like this. No. Now obviously with a uh, bigger case like this, you don't necessarily need to have like an RTX A2000, which I think the real benefit's a compact card, but the beauty is you don't have to do any weird adapting, like say to the six pin for a card that does require external power. To get something that has the equivalent of the 3050 performance that this thing does, you will have to do that. And you know, not a lot of people like to go that route. That is one thing like you're pointing out is th these cases are really cool because look how they cut this out right here. So you can actually fit like a full height, usually two fan card, I think. We've actually done the same build with like a 6600. 6, yep. Yeah, and it fits a full two fan 6600. So I guess let's go ahead and now that we got this out, it's nice that we have this. We don't yeah. have to do any weird like adhesive adapting. I gotta go find a 240. Run, run, run. All right, we have a Patriot 240 gig SSD, just two and a half inch, I just grabbed whichever one I could find first. So since these are our handles, it's gonna go in this way. Boop. Go ahead and just put this in hard drive one. And now we can just pretty much, well, we're not gonna close this yet because we should do the graphics card. Uh, Me. Graphics card? Matt, graphics card. Matt's graphics card. He's done this once or twice, guys. All right, see you guys later. We're good to go. We're good to go. We're gonna put this graphics card in this utmost top blue slot because that's most likely gonna be our X16 slot, PCI Gen 3. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure which ones we need to uh, take off. And I'm assuming it's gonna be just this one. We're gonna add this one right here. So these are these PCI covers and we're gonna take this one off. Some of them might be gone already if you buy an Optiplex. Um, others that you may get will have them all in there, but be sure to take out the ones to open up the port options. All those mini display ports, good to go. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take them all out for added airflow. It's slide this right here and realize that I took out the wrong <laughs> one. Yeah. I thought I noticed that, but I was like, you know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe he was crazy. We I mean, know he's not crazy, but you know what? These can go back in. Yeah, look at this. So now he's putting in the topmost one and then he's just gonna wow. take out. They just lock in. It's so nice. These are so much better than even like custom PC build cases where they, <laughs> they just, just fall out. Fall out. So middle two. Okay, then we're going to line up and equal pressure go boop. Now how this works, it's a toolless design, not toolless, a screwless design. So what you're gonna go ahead and do, which I mean is technically toolless, but regardless, you're gonna make sure it goes over these little bumps here so it's like locked in there. Um, and then you're going to take this little tab right here, push down, and boom, we have our card installed. And in theory, everything should just work. Now we did take out the hard drive, which would have Windows installed. So if you wanna save money on a Windows key and not have to, you know, use Windows or whatever, um, you could, we'll keep this and maybe transfer stuff. I don't even know how you would do that. Usually I mean, it's on it could be attached the motherboard. To, yeah, so it could be attached usually. to the motherboard. So in theory, we could install Windows on this SSD, get into Windows, and then it should activate itself based on the motherboard. But there's a chance it may not work, but regardless, you got GVG Mall, you can get a Windows key. It's, yeah. it's pretty affordable, so. You got video on PC Bros uh, YouTube as well on how to activate PCs. Yep, so a lot of tutorials out there for you guys, but all you gotta do now, fold this down like so, and then we're going to attach this back. But for now, a whole gaming computer. He's, he's beating it. He's, he's absolutely demolishing it. Aha, I did it. Look at that. Teamwork. Boom, this thing is better than your gaming PC. Shout out to everyone in the comment section. Let's install some <laughs> games and play it. All right, guys, we're playing some Overwatch and we are on some pretty crazy settings. 1080p, we do not have the render scale on, so it's some actual 1080p and we're on high settings. And holy, look at this, we're getting 200 FPS. This thing is like dead silent too. It's, it's such a really cool card. This A2000 is so like, 
awesome, honestly. And I wish there were graphics cards that weren't RTX cards that actually had the same little characteristics where it's 75 watt, no external power, and can perform like this. I definitely think we did a good job like just picking out the system to pair with the two. I'm curious to see what it'll do, because this is more like an esports title, but on AAA titles, I think this thing is going to be like insane. Insane. Lucio, that sounds like an Italian. A Lucio! A Lucio. Oh, oh, triple kill. Whoa, they he's crazy. Pissed. They are pissed. I'll tell you what. Oh, you Myra. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm hurt. Who do you think you are, Brig? Little Brig it. Oh, I'm just going to step in my trap and be waiting for you. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. One spot. Oh, oh, my. Oh, no. Let's go. I killed. Oh, I killed two people from the death. They died though. Let's go. Ooh, nice. Bags occurred. Period. Good job. Good job. Man. Oh, I hit him. Direct hit. Oh. oh he shouldn't peek that. Andy. Bad idea. He, he should gonna... know that I'm just constantly holding down my bomb button. Oh. Ah. I'm about to die. Oh. Oh, I guess. Oh, oh, I thought my bomb was gonna get him. No way you can get to me. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Rio, whoa! Oh, dude. Get on that point, boy. I'm getting behind him. They'll never see this drag coming. Oh, God. They seem to come in. Oh, oh, get me out of this. Get me no. out of this. Yes, my trap that I randomly placed. It worked. My other trap that I randomly placed. Let's go. Oh, they're pissed. Uh, they're pissed. Let's go. Oh, GG Easy. GG Easy. With this PC, I mean, A2000 basically at 3050 with low power requirements. McAllister's even dancing. He's, He's so excited. Gritty. He's hitting that gwitty. All right, let's move on to a more intensive game. Let's do some Warzone. All right, guys, we are now in Warzone, the main game. You may have saw Resurgence. I don't know if you did or not. McAllister will decide if he wants to include that or not. He's running. Oh! Oh, they got you. <laughs> it's Resurgence. Why did I do? What? But um, yeah, we're in Warzone. And I will say, this is a higher end AAA title that gets regular updates. And the main issue that we might have with this thing is drivers. Because as you can tell, this is a Quadro card. This isn't a normal GeForce card. So it's not really designed driver wise to get the most gaming performance. Because as you can see right now, we'll wait till we land. But our GPU usage, is that like 48%, 44? <laughs> so I think this is going to be one of those games where it might not have the absolute best performance because this game is always being updated. But there's not really game ready drivers that are going to come out for this thing. So. 50 to 60 FPS, eh, it's okay. Oh, oh the Kimbos. Oh no, they're, they're, they're not ready for this. I'm breaking in, boys. <laughs> he, oh my gosh, oh. you're busted. <laughs> now, now you have you have a close qu oh! pistol? Wait, hold up. Oh, did I not kill him? Oh no. So do you have to right click and left click? Yeah, you click? just go boop, 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 oh, boop. Dude, if you had hit the other one like one time, I think you would have had him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Lasered. Goodbye, you rat. Oh. Oh. oh, I just been hit by oh, something. Oh, right below you. Did you, you see the glint? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing it. Oh, no, did it not kill him? I think it hit the roof. Oh, it was on target. Yeah, he's but you're dead. Well, I'm still alive, surprisingly, after all that. After all them shenanigans. We made it to the top 50. Oh! Okay, then I died. <laughs> but yeah, guys, Warzone, I, not great. Not a great experience, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna install some other higher end AAA titles, because you always say, we have these Optiplex videos, but we don't really stress it to its limits. Well, we're going to. We're gonna play some Hogwarts. Maybe we'll try some Cyberpunk. We'll try some other really high end games and see uh, if it performs any better than Warzone did. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and do that. 
All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our Optiplex with our A2000, and overall, it did really well. The main takeaway, though, is just the fact that it's an Optiplex. It's a pre-built that is kind of old, and usually with these things, there's always weird power limitations, weird BIOS limitations. It's only Gen 3 as far as the PCIe goes. So because of that, you know, we there were times where the graphics card was only getting used like 40 to 60%, and the CPU wasn't even always getting used fully. So this thing probably has a lot more performance to squeeze out of it. But yeah, when we benchmarked it in games like Cyberpunk, it ran good. You got at least a 60 FPS average in an Optiplex, which is really hard to get in an Optiplex. It's just going to be hit or miss in some of the newest titles like Warzone. Um, you might have some issues there with the performance, but you may get an update and it may work out better. But what you're really getting here is a very capable graphics card that will work well in the Optiplex. And at some point in the future, if you end up upgrading this to a whole new custom system, you really don't need to buy a graphics card because there is more headroom with that A2000, even though it is more of a low profile card. It will work out well in another system if you feel like transplanting it. But yeah, if you want to build this Optiplex or buy an A2000 for for a PC you have at home, check the links down below. We'll be a fill link, so we'll help us out. Let us know what you think is the culprit with this little guy. Um, is it PCI Gen 3? Is it an Optiplex? Weird BIOS, power limits? Let us know in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. So now that we have fully benchmarked this PC, cleaned it up, and it is ready to go, we're going to sell it at PCBros.Tech with a one-year warranty. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use that awesome discount code TOASTYBROS2 on checkout to save 2% on a PC, and buy some merch as well. Merch looks great on this. You know, you can put, like, merch over top of your computer. It'll look great. It may mess up airflow, but you know what? PCBros.Tech. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out. Goodbye.